so second video dealing with hip control, knee control, is box jumps like I promised. And again, like I said, shout out goes to Mick Hughes down in Melbourne who's doing some great stuff on knee landing. So this shout out goes to you. Um, and I'll just help probably educate the public again on what he's trying to talk about. Now, with a box jump, now these are great for sport. They're fantastic, great for loading, great for strength, great for power. But I see time and time again, people just not getting it quite right. So when you're doing a box jump, jump have a mirror or a window in front of you so you can see what's happening or your partner see what's happening with your knees okay now you don't have to worry too much about pelvic tilt stuff because you're landing on two legs but if you land on one leg you certainly do okay but we're just dealing with two legs today now when you work on a box jump what do you make sure of is, is those knees when you take off don't roll in now from an injury point of view it's not as important that they roll in on takeoff. It's more important that they don't roll in when you land because that's where the load is. We're going to talk about two things though. Hips, uh, knees rolling in, okay, and how you land on the box. So if I do this way, okay, I've got to keep my knees wide, coming up, land on the box, okay. Now if you notice, I land with my knees over my toes, okay, well meaning out over my toes, all right? I'm not letting my knees roll in. What you don't want to do is land with a very stiff knee, okay? So this is what I don't think is a good idea for knees, is this way. If you watch this, okay, landing like that. Because it doesn't teach you how to absorb that shear load, okay? So when you're going into sport and you're going to jump and land, Okay, you don't, you need to absorb, do a little bit more absorption stuff, okay? Especially if you land and then crash in. So you need to get that strength load to control that range when you land. So if your knee is going to roll in, you've got the strength to control it, okay? So when you land, when you take off, knees out, okay? Use your hands for momentum and land with your knees out, all right? So again, have that mirror in front of you to help you. Now, Second thing I want you to work on is people tend to jump up and jump off, but they don't think about the jumping off part. Okay, what they tend to do is come up and then just bang. You notice that? Just land it hard, okay? And they don't think about what their knees are doing, all right? And a lot of the time people are landing, and if you slow the video down, they land bang. Now, this may not cause any injury while you're training. Okay, it's more about out in the field. So remember, what does training do? Trains this, okay? Now if you keep practicing bad form, when you go to sport and do it automatically, when you cannot think about it in a non-controlled environment, what's gonna happen? You're gonna do the same movement pattern. Okay, and you're gonna reinforce that movement pattern. So when you're training on a box jump, you've gotta reinforce the good movement pattern. So when you're playing sport, okay, whatever that sport may be, if you have to jump and land or land on one leg, okay, you are not letting it roll in. You've trained your body to land and control, okay? So making sure when you land on the box and off the box, you don't let your knees roll in. You also land and land into a squat, okay? You absorb that impact, making sure that hammy and the quad do all the work, okay? So that's a really, really important one for you to make sure you're doing. And that goes for jumping on the box and off that way and also forward. So if you're coming up into there, Okay, when you come forward and down on the box, the same thing has to happen. Okay, making sure those knees don't go crashing inwards. Okay, now if they are and you can't control it, I recommend you go back to doing single leg work, whatever knees rolling in. If it's both, we've well, got to work on both. But you've got to practice A, the movement pattern of the box jump on and off, forward and backwards. Okay, and rotation. If you want to look at the rotation ones, go back to my old videos and have a look at those. But I will be practicing the movement pattern, but then break it down to the components. What's going wrong with the leg? Is it neuromuscular and you just need to train it? Or have you got a weakness on one side because, hey, you're human and you're going to have one side stronger than the other and one side neuromuscularly better than the other, okay? And so do you need to work on that? Training that single leg in two facets, neuromuscularly, meaning repeating the movement pattern in a good position and doing good form, or two and two, 
is actually working on the muscle strength of those and the, of that movement. Maybe it's the glutes, okay, maybe it's your deep hip rotators, okay, maybe it's your glute knee that you're just dropping, maybe it's that knee that's rolling in, you've got to work on all those facets, okay. And if you want to start off on a hard box to keep things stable, be my guest, and then move to a soft box, which is a little bit more wobbly, then you could even go to think something like a BOSU, which is even more wobbly, okay, that's getting things down the track. But just focus on trying to get your single leg moving better so that stuff doesn't happen, okay? All right, I hope that's a lot of good information. See you next time.